Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me once again. If you're new here, I am Veronica and I'm back with another pick a card reading for you. This time it's all about your love life in 2024. So what kind of energy is surrounding your love, your romance in 2024? Who are you manifesting? What kind of connections are these going to be? What can you expect in 2024 in love? etc. This reading is going to work a little bit differently so please stay and let me explain. Right now you see three piles in front of you and these this is just the first part of the reading. During this part of the reading you will choose one pile that will represent your love story in 2024. In that specific reading, we will check how many important connections you're going to make in love in 2024. And having that information, you will choose at least once again, looking at different piles. In that second part of the reading, we will check who is coming your way, what's their zodiac sign, and what kind of a person you can expect to deal with in love and romance in 2024. Before I hit record, I set an intention that this video will reach the right people. So if you are seeing it, you were meant to see it. However, please remember that this is not personalized reading, it's a general reading. So take what resonates and let the rest go. And one more thing, if you guys would be interested in personalized 2024 predictions for your love life, for your career, for just in general, the energy of 2024, I am now offering these for a limited time I'm only as always only in December and the beginning of January 2024 so if you are interested the link will be in the description box okay so let's get started this time guys I got for you rings made from crystals choose one group one ring that you feel the most drawn to thinking about your 2024 love life energy and love story this is group one group two and group three all the timestamps are in the description box so look for it click on it and then i'll see you in your reading hi group one you guys chose this ring this ring is called mila and it's made from moonstone and how like crystals moonstone is associated with our inner goddess and it's a symbol of fertility and sensuality, which is which makes it perfect for manifesting a romantic partner. It also helps with concentration and brings clarity and peace into our life. This crystal ring is handmade and created with intention by me. It's also charged under the full moon to enhance its energy. If you are interested, more info will be in the description box. So now let's talk about what you guys can expect in this reading because as I told you at the beginning, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than the usual, the normal pick card readings that I have. So this time you guys chose group one and we're going to take a look at your love story, yes. Um, but I also gotta tell you that in this part of the reading, we will take a look at the most important dates in 2024 regarding love and romance. Um, and also, I'm going to let you ask a yes or no question regarding love life. What else? Is there anything else? Overall energy. Okay, so this is overall energy. Oh yeah, at the end, we will of course check how many important connections you're going to make in 2024 in love. You know, that could be one, it could be one, it could be just one. Maybe you already are dating someone or you're seeing someone and you wanna make sure, so let's see. Okay, so first of all, the overall vibe of 2024, let's take a look at your tarot cards. We have the High Priestess as the first card. We have the, ooh, you guys got the Nine of Cups. Oh, that's a great card to get, I'm jealous. Ooh, you also have the Wheel of Fortune, but in reverse position. Okay, I'm already getting a lot of info from these cards, and we have the Knight of Pentacles, okay. Wow, okay, definitely someone is going to try their best to get close to you. They're going to make effort, but maybe, 
a bell not person a little bit later with the knight of pentacles with the nine of cups this is a card of wishes coming true of manifestation so i do see you um connecting or bringing someone into your life that you wanted to it could be a specific person it could be someone that is already on your mind that you maybe have been crushing on someone that you've been thinking about or if you don't have anyone like that, I see you in general manifesting like a partner that you've been trying to manifest, someone that, um, like a perfect partner, you know, someone that you've been dreaming about, someone that you would like, you know, set intentions to manifest. I see you achieving that with the Nine of Cups, but your overall love life energy. So I see with the high priestess that you are listening to your gut more and that's really good for you because your intuition, oh wow, and you actually guys chose the moonstone ring, which is all, as I said, about femininity and intuition. So your intuition is extremely on point in 2024, especially regarding your love life. I feel like you guys are maybe getting more into spirituality or discovering yourself, uh, connecting with your inner wisdom more and on a bigger and better level. And that will help you um, in your love life, in your romantic life, in your connections, in your romantic connections, because you will know who to trust and who not to trust, um, where you can take like the next steps, who's going to be loyal and who's there only for a second. So with the high priestess, I see you making really good decisions. I'm not going to lie. I also see you actually uh, getting a lot of um, either tarot readings or any kind of spiritual uh, consultations. Uh, you know, it could be a lot of different consultations. It could be astrology related, it could be Reiki, it could be Tara, um, psychic readings, etc. But I see you also asking about your love life, your spiritual uh, consultant, let's just say. Seeking knowledge in that form as well. Okay, so that's what we have with the high priestess and also seeing you being quite private for a while. So that could be being private with what's going on in your love life. Maybe when you're going to be meeting someone, you don't want this to be official that quickly because you just want to see for yourself. You just want to see the vibes and feel the vibes and just see how you are feeling about the situation and you're keeping things private. But that also could be about uh, or saying that you are going to keep some privacy or you're going to keep some things private when you are going to be dating someone. It just feels like you're not um, laying all the cards immediately out. You're not fully opening up. There's a reason for that. It could be connected with something that happened in um, in your previous connections and the lessons that you learned from it. The Wheel of Fortune is about ups and downs throughout 2024 and love. So there will be months, there will be weeks where things are perfect, but there will be also some downs, okay? So, you know, it's natural flow of life, um, I guess. I wouldn't be so bothered by this. But in general, the Wheel of Fortune is also representing destined encounters. Um, so I feel like you might meet these people, this person will see, <laughs> you know, the romantic connections that you're making in 2024 really randomly, really suddenly in random places. Um, it's not something that you are doing like with intention. It's not like you are for example, looking for love on internet or looking for love in general, it, it's like it's it's coming to you. It will come to you. The Knight of Pentacles, as I was saying, I see someone putting so much effort to get to know you better, um, to get closer to you. 
So for sure, there will be at least like this one connection that is very stubborn. This person wants to take things slow, but I really am getting a feeling like it's worth giving them that time. Let's see what else we have. We have self-discipline, okay? And we have physical activity. All right, so this could be saying that in general, you are... Um, benefiting a lot from doing some sort of physical activity throughout 2024. It could be literally because you're going to the gym, your body is getting more muscular, you're feeling hot, you're feeling yourself, you are feeling fabulous. And that is affecting the way that you think of yourself, that is affecting your, in a positive way, your confidence, and that results in you attracting people more easily because when we are confident in our bodies with who we are we naturally attract people that's what i'm feeling i also think that with the physical activity you might be meeting someone when you're going to be working out so that could be as i said at the gym that could be at some yoga class that could be like during the marathon that you decide to run you know it could be ice skating, any, anything like that, any kind of physical activity. I feel like one of those important connections will be there or you guys are going to connect in that kind of environment um, with that person. Self-discipline, I think it's about you being more confident in your choices, making less mistakes. <laughs> I know. Um, I think it's just about you not making the same mistakes in 2024 that you might have made in 2023 regarding love. You know what kind of people not to choose anymore. You know what kind of energy not to fall for anymore. You have a bigger clarity and understanding on what kind of partner you want and need. And even though there might be some temptations with the self-discipline card, you're not gonna give in that easily, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's take a look at the most important dates in 2024, or months actually, regarding your love life. Okay, we already have January, so the beginning of the year. Group one, most important dates. In love, we have April. Okay, that's too much. So, guys, that could be when you could possibly meet this person. When could um, something important happen in that connection? Maybe if you're already meeting someone, um, that's going to be an important month for both of you. So, definitely the beginning of the year, as you can see, January, March, April. Okay, so now I want you guys to ask a yes or no question. It has to be regarding love in 2024. You know, it could be about the person, whatever you want. Just think about it right now. Pause the video, connect on that, uh, on that question. Keep that question in mind while I'm shuffling the cards. But yeah, pause the video if you don't know right now, if you don't know the question yet. And let's see, is it a yes or no for group one? Oh my god, look. Nine of Cups. You got Nine of Cups. That's a card of wishes coming true. We have Two of Pentacles. So that's a perfect balance. And we also have Wheel of Fortune. So two cards that are actually repeating for you guys. Nine of Cups and Wheel of Fortune. Is it a yes or a no? It's definitely a yes. It's a big yes. Big, big, big yes. It's like a very positive yes if you ask a more like you know <laughs> negative question um it this is a very positive answer it's representing manifestation and uh good fortune like a golden ticket opportunities with the two of pentacles so definitely that's a big yes for you guys now let's take a look at how many connections you're going to make in 2024 so i have a couple of envelopes and we're going to shuffle those and see how many important connections will 
group one make in 2024. I feel like this one is for you. Okay, so we have the answer here. Uh, and I want you guys to know that whatever number this is going to be, this is how many readings you're supposed to pick next, right? I told you at the beginning that uh, this video is um, divided into two parts. Now we're going to discover how many groups you are supposed to watch in the second part. So I'm going to have the group A, B, C, D, E, F, and you choose three or two or one of these groups or five, we'll see. We'll see how many, oh, I see one. Okay, so one important connection, one important. So again, I'm highlighting important, you know? Um, there might be more connections, there might be more people coming to your life, but they're not as important as this one specific person. So now I want you guys to go to this timestamp, I'm going to put the timestamp here, but you will also have it in the description box. You go there, you choose one group out of these six that you'll see in front of you, and you watch that group, and in that group, this person is going to be described, okay? So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in that second part of the reading. Hi, group two, you guys chose this beautiful ring that is called Camila, and it's made from opal and clear quartz crystals. This ring is perfect for those of you that want to attract more good luck and opportunities into your life, into your love life, into romance, as opal is actually known as a stone of loyalty, love, and creativity, and clear quartz enhances the energies. There we go. <laughs> I was pointing it here. It enhances energies of other crystals and helps to filter the negative emotions. So there's a reason why you guys chose this stone. Maybe it's a way of the universe, your spirit guides telling you to surround yourself in 2024 with more crystals. This crystal ring is handmade and created with intention by me. It's charged under the moonlight, under the full moon, uh, to enhance its energy, the energy of the crystals. And if you guys are interested, there will be more information about it in the description box. Now, take, let's take a look at your love story. So as I told you guys at the beginning in the intro, if you didn't watch the intro, listen up. But even though, um, even for those of you that watch the intro, this information will also be applied. So in this part of the reading, we are going to check your overall vibe of your love life in 2024. We're going to see what are the most important dates, months of the year for you in love and romance. Uh, and also I'm going to let you guys ask a yes or no question about love in 2024. At the end, we're going to check how many important romantic connections you're going to make or have in 2024. And let's get started. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> As the first card, you guys got the two of cups. Wow. Beautiful, it's a part of soulmate. We have eight of wands, interesting. We have, what is this, seven of swords reversed. Oop, oop, that's a T. We have the page of coins. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. So some things are already set in motion with the Eight of Wands for you, group two. I think that the energy that is happening, that is going on, there's something that, or maybe something that was going on in 2023, you are bringing some part of it into 2024. So if there is some sort of connection, love story that was not finished or completed fully, you're still bringing that connection, that relationship to 2024. For some of you, that's good news. For some of you, maybe you're not very happy with it. Um, either way, I see that some things were already set in motion with the Eight of Wands. And, well, that energy is transporting. <laughs> this energy is um, transitioning as well into 2024 with the seven of swords i'm seeing some sort of truth being revealed 
So that could be with that connection that your brain from 2023 to 2024, you will see the truth about some connection, about someone, about the person. Um, it, it will make things more clear for you. It's here for you to, like, it's for your own good. It's not here to mess up your life. It's here to help you to realize something. And of course, this, this you know, card, this energy is going to be completely different for all of you. But what I can say is that some truths will be revealed in 2024 and you will see things more clearly. The truth has to come out. It was hidden for way too long. It will come out in 2024. Moving on, we have the Two of Cups, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. It's a soulmate card. It's soulmate connection. Very deep emotional connection with someone. Um, so you are either meeting this person in 2024 or meeting even a couple of people like that. We'll see. But you're definitely making a very strong connection with someone in 2024. You're going to feel like this relationship this connection is very special and more about that person in the second part of the reading of today's video we also have the page of coins it's really interesting page of coins which is the page of pentacles so i see you being more wise with your choices in 2024 it feels like you're more prepared for what's going to happen uh for what for what's coming, for the relationship, the connections that you are going to be dealing with. You have more knowledge, you have more experience, and you will know better how to deal with these people or how to deal with certain situations. Again, it feels like you're more prepared. Okay, so let's see what else we have. So maybe we can figure this out. Uh, we have surrender. Okay, and we also have communication. With the communication, it automatically makes me think of a lot of people being interested in you and you getting a lot of messages, you know, a lot of communication throughout 2024. A lot of people want to talk with you, learn about you and understand you better. I feel like your communication level will also improve. You will know how to communicate your feelings and your needs and you will be more confident with doing so. The surrender card tells me that some things will be out of your control in 2024 in love life. The best thing that you can do is just to go with the flow and to surrender in the times when you feel like you don't have that control over something. That could be in situations where maybe the other person acts a certain way, you don't like it. The spirit wants you to know that you can't fix everything. Everything has its own timing and everyone learns in their own time as well. This could be a specific message for some of you here to surrender a connection that is not working out. It could be that connection that you're bringing from 2023 to 2024, could be connected with the truth being revealed. Whatever it is, the spirit is asking you to surrender, to let go, to not be desperate. That desperate energy is not going to help you. It might just make things um, more complicated. Um, and, you know, I really want to see already how many people you are um, going to be connecting with. So I was meant to do this at the end of this um, of the reading for this group, but I really want to do it now because it feels to me like three. It feels to me like three important connections, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, I feel like this one. <laughs> yep, because <laughs> we have 33 here. So I feel like there will be three important connections. For sure, there will be one that you're bringing from 2023 to 2024. That's one. There will be another one that will feel like a soulmate connection and one more so interesting so 
Uh, I'm going to go back to this at the end of this reading for this group, okay? Because there's a second part of this entire video. So it's important that you stay until the end of uh, this reading right now so I can explain to you what it means with that three. But let's see what are the most important dates for you. What are the most important months in 2024 for group number two, the most important months. So we have November, December, okay, the end of the year for sure, very important, and also May, okay, the 5th. Now I want you guys to ask a yes or no question it has to be connected with 2024, with love life, with romance, with, you know, it might be a specific person uh, that you know that will be present in 2024 as well. So let's see, feel free to pause right now. And if you already know your question, think about it, keep it in your mind while I'm shuffling the cards and let's see if it's a yes or no for group two spirit. Is it a yes or a no for the people that are watching this video right now? Is it a yes or a no? We have three of cups, reverse. We have queen of swords, reversed. Okay, and we have several swords reversed. And the hangman, the hangman is about letting go let go of something, let go of a connection, let go of thinking about, let go of this energy. Um, or maybe it's like an, an obsessive thinking, analyzing. Three of Cups would be either friends with benefits or actually, you know, a friend that you want to be maybe more than friends, just than just friends with. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if it's working out for you or not. Either way, I feel like this is a no. I feel like your spirit guides is asking you, are asking you regarding, you know, this question, whatever you guys asked about, to think about this more logically. Like, does it make sense? Would you recommend this to someone? Like, what kind of advice would you give to someone if they were in a situation that you are in right now? Because I feel like you guys ask about a specific situation. It feels like something, it's something that you wish would be a yes, but it feels like it's not supposed to be a yes. That there's something much better waiting for you. And, you know, we have the Seven of Swords again. It's literally the same card here. The truth will be revealed in 2024. And this feels like a no, or it feels a little bit more negative. But at the end of the day, it was supposed to be like that in order for you to progress in life, in order for you to get into a better place, okay? Especially with that Seven of Swords here. Okay, so we got everything. So you guys chose, uh, no, you didn't choose this, but <laughs> we have the number three for you. So what that means is that right now you're going to go to this timestamp. It also will be in the description box in the comment section. You will go to the second selection, second selection, and you will choose three <laughs> files, okay? And each one will be representing one person. And in these, yeah, I will be describing to you that specific person. So three different people, three different connections, and we're going to talk about it in the second part of the reading. So choose three from the A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And watch these and learn about the people that you're going to be dealing with having in your life in 2024 in love life. So I'll see you in the second part of the reading. Hi, group three. You guys chose this beautiful ring that is called Olivia. And it's made from moss agate crystals. And this ring is perfect for those who seek more sense of calm, balance, and stability in life. Moss agate also improves self-esteem and brings more emotional balance. It's a perfect grounding stone. This crystal ring is handmade and created with intention by me. It's also charged under the full moon to enhance their, the crystal's energy. If you're interested, more information about it in the description box. And let's take a look at your 2024 energy. So the, the cards that you guys are seeing in front of you are going to describe your 2024 love story. So overall vibe, what's going on, 
Uh, later on, I'm going to allow you, allow you, oh, that sounds weird. I'm going to let you, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. Uh, I'm going to let you ask a yes or no question. It has to be regarding 2024, love life, romance, romantic partners, etc. But we're going to take a look at that later. Um, and I'm also going to shuffle uh, and see what are the most important dates for you in 2024 in love, in romance. What are the most important months? And at the very end, we're going to check how many important connections, important romantic connections you're going to have or make in 2024. But first of all, let's take a look at your tarot cards. First card, Ace of Wands. Okay. So new connection incoming for sure, for sure. Because that is representing new energy, new passion. Energy, passion. There's this TikTok where they saying like, more energy, more passion. <laughs> reminding me of that okay you also have seven of coins the so seven of pentacles but in reverse Ooh. okay we also have page of swords communication possible air sign and we have the two of coins okay all right a lot of information from these cards alone uh, before i'm going to explain what i'm saying let me just tell you that um, as I told you during the intro of this reading, this entire video is divided into two parts. So make sure to watch the entire reading from this first part. And then I'm going to explain to you how the second part works. Okay. First of all, your love story, your overall vibe of 2024. So as I said, there, are, there is definitely new connection. There is a new flame. Okay. In 2024, with the two of coins, it actually makes me think of two people at least. I see you like balancing your time. So I see you like trying to figure out which path you prefer or what you want, um, what fits you better, what makes more sense. Um, spending a little bit of time here, a little bit of time there. So that definitely tells me that there are a couple of people coming in 2024. Uh, or present in 2024 that you will be spending your time with. Um, one of those people with a seven of coins, it could be someone that you are kind of like taking from 2023 into your 2024 life, love life, but not for long. <laughs> and I'm saying that because we have the seven of coins reverse. This is a card of patience. When I see this card in reverse, it tells me that someone is getting impatient. And I think... That person is you. I think this is you deciding in 2024 that you're no longer going to be waiting for someone, uh, for someone to make up their mind, for someone to decide, for someone to let you know what they want. Like you're not doing this anymore. You're not playing their games anymore. So I see you letting go of a connection or giving up on a connection. It's more of a, the energy of giving up on a connection. That does not mean that this connection is going to go away immediately. It could be like you letting go and deciding that, okay, I'm, I'm just not doing this anymore. But this person then wakes up and is like, hey, I'm ready. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? It could be something like that. It could be one of those, one of the people, because I feel like it's not just one connection for you. I might be wrong. We are going to to see with uh, these envelopes later on how many people will be present there. But it does feel like more than one. It feels like a previous connection feels like some someone that you will give up on or you're just not going to wait for anymore with a seven of coins reverse. Uh, if you have no idea who this person is, if you don't have anyone like that, that means that in 2024, someone like that will come that you know will be there for a while and for some reason you are just gonna run out of patience with this person um ace of wands going back to it again i see a really strong attraction in 2024 with someone i see being attracted to them um like physically a lot <laughs> So there's a lot of that sexual, sensual energy going on with the Ace of Wands. Uh, we're going to learn about this person later on. Uh, Page of Swords is about 
messages and it's about news, it's about communication and um, talk. So I see you in general in 2024 making at least, as I said, a couple of connections, talking with a lot of people. It feels like there will be a lot going on, especially with a two of coins. It feels like it's going to be a busy year regarding love life. So let's see what else we have. We have spiritual partnership. Okay, so one of the potential romantic partners, um, they will be there, like on a spiritual level, there with you. So you're going to meet with someone that will understand you better, that will understand your soul better. You're going to click pretty much early on with them and definitely feels like this person is really interested in self-development and looking within. They, you know, believe in all the woo-woo stuff that we believe in, <laughs> me and you. Um, because you wouldn't be here if you didn't. So I see a connection like that being in your life in 2024. And we also have perseverance. Okay, so perseverance. Persevere with some sort of issue. So yeah, that could be connected with running out of patience. Uh, it could be the fact that you will try to persevere in some sort of connection you're going to try to do your best you're going to try to give someone uh time to decide and i do think that eventually it will fizzle out um persevere could also be about you persevering through this year understanding that sometimes you know lessons are a little bit harder some situations might be tougher and there might be challenges and obstacles you need to persevere through them uh, in order to get to that better place, in order to meet that better person, in order to make that better connection, that more uh, healthy connection. I think this is what it is. Let's see what are the most important months for you, group three, during the 2024 in love life. Group three. Most important months we have september we have january so the beginning of the year so you know guys that could be when you could meet someone that could be uh if you're in a relationship or if you already have someone on your mind someone in your life um something important might might happen throughout these months or during these months in love in 2024 and we also have august okay so these are the most important months i want you guys to think of a yes or no question has to be somehow connected with love with or or romance uh in 2024 it could be about like a specific person on your mind it could be about just in general um love in 2024 romantic partners 2024 so let's see yes or no so feel free to pause right now if you don't have any any question uh, yet. But I feel like I already am getting an answer for you. So focus on that question while I'm shuffling the cards. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Stability, judgment, trust your own judgment, friends, celebration. So it does feel like a yes for you. Hmm, you know, it's a yes. It's definitely a yes. We have three upright cards. It's definitely a yes, but for some reason, I'm not so excited about this yes, or like I'm not as excited as I normally would be. This feels more like a responsible option, or it feels like a safe option, or it feels like it's good, you know, it's good. It's a good yes. I don't know, though, why I'm not as excited. Hmm. But, you know, Ace of Pentacles would be representing stability. Uh, Three of Cups would be representing friends and celebration. And judgment would be trusting your own judgment and following what's be best for you. Mm. So I wonder what you guys asked about, actually, that I'm not, you know, super, like, extremely excited. Like, it's not like it's bad. 
Uh, it's not like the yes is bad. It just, I don't know. It feels like there's something more. It feels like maybe you should ask about something else. So let's see how many important connections you're going to have in 2024. This has to close. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So we have three, three important connections. So what that mean, guys, uh, means, guys, English, what that means is that right now you're going to go to this timestamp. I'm going to put it in the description box and in the comment section as well. You're going to go there and you're going to choose three piles. So we're going to have six piles from A to F, I think, yeah, or E. A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah, six. So from A to F, and I want you to choose three. Each pile will represent a different person, and these three people will play an important role in your love life in 2024. So go there now, choose three, watch all of them. Let me know in the comments how you feel about all of this, and I'll see you there. Hey, welcome to the second part, second selection for this video. So depending on the number that you got during the first part of the reading, you now will choose either one, two, three, four or five groups. Each one will represent one person. If I told you there will be three, you choose three piles and you watch all of them. Each one represents different person. So please take your time right now to choose. Feel free to choose just one watch it and come back and choose another one whatever feels the most convenient to you so all the timestamps are in the description box choose and i'll see you in your reading group a let's see what do we have for you so your first card is maui okay so the god maui i did some research before this and god maui is represented as someone that is very confident someone that is extremely skilled someone talkative and someone that has a heart of gold he also likes to show off his skills and his abilities a bit as well that might be one of his flaws but you know everyone has one so that's what we know about god maui and this is how your person also will be represented so this is why the qualities that are representing your person discovery so very very curious energy i feel like it's going to be someone that will want to know as much as possible about you they will be extremely curious about you so let's see two tarot cards that will represent this person this person will be group a person is going to be represented by these two tarot cards. We have death. So death is about transformation, transition, and change. I feel like this might be saying that this person, at the time when you guys are going to meet, at the time when this person is going to enter your life or be in your life, they will be going through a lot of transitions transformations changes in their life that could mean for example moving from one place to another that could be ending a relationship and you know their uh relationship status changing so there are a lot of changes that come along with this person okay the death card as i said is representing transformation as well so that could be physical transformation that could mean that in 2024 this person is different or, or looks different or the fact that they have somehow changed that you will see a change in them one more card for this person from tarot we have the queen of swords so this person is very wise is very intellectual I think it's also someone that doesn't uh, show their interest that easily. They hide. They hide their feelings. They don't open up that easily. Once they are in love, their love languages would be um, a rather of uh, giving gifts and quality time, etc. And not words of affirmation uh, or physical touch. 
but I see them as a very wise and smart individual, someone that knows what they want, uh, and someone that is very confident in themselves. Let's see their zodiac sign, zodiac or moon sign. Uh, sorry, zodiac or rising sign, actually. Of group A's person. We have a Capricorn. And we also have a Gemini. Makes sense with a Queen of Swords. So Capricorns are known to be extremely wise, mature and experienced, disciplined, ambitious, driven, determined. They're great leaders. So that could be saying that your person, this person is going to be in a leadership position in life somehow. That could be in their career. They could be on a higher level um roles management roles etc i also feel like this person is going to be much older than you gemini's generally are very social and outgoing they're also quite playful and they make friends really easily they know how to listen really deeply to others and i feel like that's something that will make you uh, that will interest you in this person the fact that they will be just really, really good listeners. And with the Capricorn, I feel like they might give you also very good advice. In general, I see this person being rather logical and analytical. Uh, this is someone that likes statistics. This is someone that plans things ahead. Uh, this is someone that listens to what their head is saying rather than where their heart is leading them. I feel like they think through their emotions and their feelings rather than feeling the emotions. You will definitely have a lot of interesting conversations with this person. They can help you a lot and they can teach you a lot. However, I feel like this is more of a colder connection. I'm not gonna lie to you, group A. I feel like if you're seeking a romance of a lifetime, this person is not going to give you rom romantic vibes. This person is going to be extremely interesting and you will be definitely interested in them because of what they got to say and what's in their head. But I feel like, you know, there is a connection, there is a magnetism, um, but if you are more of a person that need uh, that needs these like words of affirmations and um, romance in life, I feel like this might not be necessarily a person that you are looking for at the end of the day. If you would like to explore this more, I have a bunch of different readings where we focus more on your next romantic partner or uh, who's coming your way. Uh, or if you have a specific person in your mind, uh, I also have uh, readings, uh, pick a card readings that are for how does this person feel about you, etc. So uh, feel free to check these out. You can also book a personal reading with me. The link is in the description box so we can explore this further. Uh, other than that, if you guys chose another group, let's see you there. And if not, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments how you felt about all of this. Write one affirmation, positive affirmation for your love life in the comments so it will come true for you in 2024. I'll see you next time or in the next reading. Hi group B, so you guys chose this card. Let's see what we have. All right, so you guys got the Garuda travel. So I took some notes on these gods and for Garuda, I have the following. Um, Garuda was a king of birds and the traveler that was very brave, knowledgeable, powerful, loyal, and disciplined. So this is definitely, these are the qualities, uh, the personality traits of uh, this person, of your person. And let's see with the tarot cards, what else can we learn about this person? So group B, this person, who is a spirit? Please let us know. So this person is represented by the card Sun. A Sun is all about positivity, optimism, enjoying life, mm, you know, appreciating little things in life. It also made me think of family and the connections with the family. So I feel like this person is very family oriented, very close to 
their family or someone from their family it could be their sibling a random message but i got a message of like twin brother twin sister um so that could be a thing as well but i feel like they see this person sees the life in more positive um, colors <laughs> uh, they look at every experience as a lesson as something positive um we also have the nine of wands so that is representing being a little bit defensive Mm, and I see this as maybe being a bit defensive, like on guard, I would say, in love, um, regarding relationships. Uh, yeah, possible like romantic connections. Uh, that is, of course, caused by something uh, or due to something that happened in the past. So I feel like the spirit is saying here that this person, when you guys meet them, they might be a little bit guarded with their feelings, with their emotions, not wanting to fully like fall for you, you know, express themselves. Uh, so that's something that you will realize later on once you get to know them better that at the beginning they were a little guarded. Uh, this also could mean that they don't allow people into their life that easily that quickly like not everyone they might be quite selective with the friends with the people that they surround themselves with and spend the time with for the zodiac slash rising signs we have aries so your person might be aries and aries are travelers definitely not as much as sagittarius people but still it's a fire sign so there's a lot of fire in this person this person is very fiery very passionate very energetic Aries are mostly <laughs> very confident. Um, something that I also feel like I learned about Aries is that they are you know, people pleasers. So that could be a thing as well. But um, Aries as the first zodiac of the zodiac signs, they are like you say that they are the youngest because they are first and they might be a little bit inexperienced in something. Um, at least that's the message that I'm getting for you, group B. So I feel like your person might be actually a bit younger than you or younger than the people that you usually uh, date. We also have Virgo. So Virgo and Aries energies. Your person might be Zodiac or rising Virgo. Virgos are also people pleasers, <laughs> but it's also it's because they enjoy being of service. They like serving others. They like helping others. They like to um, be like useful, you know. A lot of Virgos are health freaks. <laughs> they like fitness. They like treating their body well. Um, they pay attention to their diet, to... Yeah, the food that they eat, what they watch, what they observe, what is in front of them. Uh, they pay attention to things like that. So I feel like your person might be very detailed and um, a perfectionist for sure too. Very confident. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Group B. Thanks so much for watching. If you uh, had to choose few more piles go ahead and do so and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and i'll see you guys in my next one hi group c this is your card let's see what you got oh you got the god of love uh, i hope i'm pronouncing his name right eros is it eros i hope it's eros um Apologies if I'm mispronouncing it. So I did a little bit of a research on all of the gods and for Eros, this is what I have. So uh, someone that is enthusiastic, someone who seeks out new experiences um, and okay, love, loves adventures, is very playful, it's very charming, okay. Assistant of Aphrodite, goddess of uh, love, beauty, and desire. So he's her assistant. Okay, fairy tale type love and romance and romantic. But what else I wrote is that... He might find it difficult to settle down because of his love for adventure. That doesn't mean that he will not settle. 
but the fact that he finds it difficult to do so. Sorry, I had to grab tarot deck. So now let's see what else we have for this person for group C. This person, how are they described? Okay, let's see the unknown card. Okay, so this is an additional card in this tarot deck. We usually don't have it. But with the unknown card is that Mm, what I'm seeing is that you are not going to be 100% sure about this person because this person might not be sure of what they want. Like they are very mm, unpredictable, I would say. And, you know, I'm not going to say that it's good or it's bad because I feel like it's somewhere in between. It just depends on the situation that you are in. Because uh, sometimes that might be very exhilarating and exciting and it's something new, you know, and you're drawn to that. Um, I got to tell you with the Eros card also that this person is going to be very pretty, very handsome, good looking. But you don't know what to expect from them. So they are quite mysterious. It gives me the, the vibes of like Scorpio, that's for sure, or like a Capricorn too. Let's see what else we have. One more card for group C. Yeah, a knight in a shining armor with a knight of swords. So, you know, knight of swords, yeah, he's very interesting. He is very wise, very intelligent. He has this witty intelligence. Um, he is very funny. Yeah, he he makes maybe not a lot of jokes, but just the way that he talks is really funny. It's very... Um, interesting just interesting and it pulls you towards him so he i feel like you might fall in love or have a crush on this person because of what they say because of their beliefs their knowledge etc so the knight of swords i'm not gonna lie to you mm, <laughs> sometimes is a kind of a person that just comes into our life very quickly and they also leave quite quickly too uh they don't have to it's not like the knight of wands would because the knight of wands is that lover type that uh, guy for one, girl for one, uh, stand kind of um, knight uh, type. The knight of swords, he might stay, but with him, I see that this person gets bored very quickly. So that's something for you to remember to know. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see the zodiac signs. But I feel like uh, just talking with him, hanging out with him, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you guys are going to vibe on the same level, definitely. Let's see. So we have Pisces. Interesting. So very like living in a fantasy world kind of vibe. Very imaginative. Emotional. Creative and artistic. Mm hmm and Leo okay yeah here is this confidence and here is this beauty and attractive energy confidence is the key to your success so maybe that's the that that's also the message for you here you know confidence is key to win this person over if you decide that you want to um, so that's what we have. What else we have with Leos? Well, Leos are really, they, they're very close to their family. They're creative as well, very passionate in love. And they are good looking most of the time. <laughs> okay, so that's what I have for you, Group C. If you had to choose uh, another group, feel free to do so right now. Um, if you want to, I have a lot of readings on your future romantic partner, etc. Uh, so make sure to check out these on my channel uh, if you would like to learn more about this person or you can book a personal reading with me. The link is in the description box. And don't forget to leave a like, comment below. What, how did you like this reading? And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hi, Group D. So your card is, let's see. Okay, this is the god that I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, Lu, 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 Luke, Lu, Lu. Let's call, let's call him Lu. And I'm very, very sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And don't be mad at me, okay? 
Uh, skill. Okay, so I did my research, but you know what? Let me show you if you want to check him out. Longer hair. Okay, very muscular. Okay. <laughs> um, I did my research and this god, let's see. The god Lu, god of sun and light, powerful warrior, very wise, fair god of justice. Oh, it's this one. Okay. A master craftsman could be a trickster. Could be. Could be. It doesn't say is this trickster. It could be a trickster. Okay. But god of sun and light, powerful warrior, very wise and fair god of justice. Yeah, I feel uh, like he was this one god that led his people like very fairly. He did everything that, like he believed in what he was preaching and he was also, you know, taking action on what, what he was preaching. He was li living by that as well, not only teaching and um, telling people what to do. And he was very, 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 very fair leader. So um, that's definitely something that uh, this person is also going to, that the personality trait that this person is also going to have. So let's see with the tarot cards what we have for group D. Whoever chose group D, how is their person going to be? Just give us two cards. And if you guys would like to learn more about this person, you know, I have a lot of different readings on this channel on uh, the possible romantic partner um, or your crush or just honestly everything. So... I have so many videos on this channel, so make sure to check it out. So let's see what we have for this person. How are they going to be? Group D, group D, group D, group D. The Fool. Okay, so The Fool is about taking a risk. And it's definitely about leadership in this case, because The Fool is, is you know, um, starting something. He's starting off. So he's the first person to do something. Uh, at least that's how I'm seeing it in this particular case. Um, so someone very brave, but someone also quite spontaneous, uh, adventurous. Mm -hmm. Okay. The fool also often says, I love you too early. He catches feelings very quickly. So that's something to keep in mind. But he's also, this is also representing being ready for something new. He's ready for the new adventure. And I feel like his beliefs are very strong. Even the beliefs about, you know, maybe this possible romantic connection. Like, he's not going to give up easily because he believes so deeply. Let's see. Wow, guys, you got a star. I actually pulled only two cards for the rest of the groups. But one more card I want to pop out for you is four of wands. And this is a card of your home. Um, your hometown, the city where you live, your community. So I feel like it's just telling us that this person is going to be from your community. So maybe, just for example, if you maybe practice yoga, let's say, this person is going to also practice yoga and you guys are going to have the same like environment to practice yoga in. <laughs> You're going to be going to the same coach or just taking the same classes, like something like that, you know, something connects you. You guys are in the same community or you guys are from the same hometown because it's home. And the star, this is about destiny. Wow, that's a really good card to get. It's about destiny, uh, destiny encounters, uh, alignment. So you will feel this automatic connection with this person. Uh, like you you have known each other before. I wonder if you guys chose the group. I don't remember right now which one it is because I was recording the first version, the first part of the reading yesterday. There was one group that was about, there was like two of cups card there and it was a soulmate card. And if so, I feel like that's a confirmation for you uh, that this is this person, the soulmate connection, because it will feel just right. It will just click like that. Uh, we have Pisces, so this person might be possibly Pisces, very imaginative, uh, someone creative, someone artistic, um, someone that likes to kind of lose themselves in the fantasy. Um, I feel like this person reads a lot. That's very, very random, but it made me think of that, uh, like a bookworm. 
Okay, and sensitive, sensitive soul. Oh, interesting, we also have Aries. Okay, so I didn't tell you these two will be sun and rising or sun or rising, okay? Not moon sign, sun or rising. So we have Aries, which is about um, taking the initiative. So I feel like this person will be the one to reach out first, to take the initiative, to, to try to take the next step with you, uh, to you know, ask you out. I feel like they're going to be actually very straightforward with you if they're going to like you or once they're going to start to like you because it's not if, it's when. Um, they will tell you. Like, they will be very straightforward with you. They're not going to play games with you. It's going to be quite easy with them, I think. I think you're going to be very clear with this person. Like, things are going to be very clear with them. You're not going to have to, like, wonder what they meant when they say this or that, why didn't they text you, etc. It just feels very easy with this person. Mm, yeah, so Aries is also about confidence and being active. I feel like this person uh, might be really into fitness or physical activity of any kind and of any sort. All right, guys, group D, if you have to choose another group, uh, go ahead and do so. Did I say three or D? I'm on D if I said three, but either way. Uh, thanks for being here. If this is the end, if this was the right, last pile that you had to choose. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos like this one. And as I said before, I have a bunch of videos similar to this one or like uh, that will fill out the blanks for you. You can also book a personal reading with me. The link is in the description box. Thanks so much guys for being here. Let me know in the comments how this resonated and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Group E, you guys have... Okay, let me see. How do you pronounce this? Achilles? Achilles. The god Achilles. This card says confidence. And I did my little research on all the gods. And for you, group E, Achilles is representing uh, heroism. Um, he heroic. Heroic, is that how you say it? Heroic, extremely strong, super handsome, unbeatable fighter. Um, could be practicing martial arts. Okay, so very fit. Yeah, definitely very fit, but also quite quick to anger because Achilles was quick to anger. Very handsome, that's interesting. Okay, so let's see what the tarot cards what we have for your person, group E, whoever chose group E, what do we have for them, for this person, how could this person be described to group, oh, to group E, two of cups, so this is my soulmate card, but if it comes to someone's personality traits, I would say that this is about uh, someone being very romantic, believing in soulmates, believing in uh, love and love being very important to them in their life. Um, hmm. Looking for that instant connections and looking for that deep connections with people and making deep connections with people. Like, I feel like this person doesn't like to have, um, you know, how do you say that? Like, talk about nothing, like, talk about weather surface level talk i guess that's not something that they're up to or into actually so let's see what else we have how this person could be described the magician okay so this person seems to have it all yeah seems to have it all so they have the looks they have the career they have the money they have the skill um they have the friends, you know, they have the house, like they have material things, but they also have um, a lot in their head, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, so I said seem because that's how it is. Like they seem this way. I don't think that they think of themselves this way, even though they're very confident. They will seem to you like they have it all. And from outside, that's how this person looks. 
The magician is also about manifestation, so that could say that this person believes in law of attraction, believes in more of a spiritual world, they are not that business-minded, they believe in the power of the universe, the, their power, um, the power of their mind, and in general manifestation. Okay, let's see, their zodiac or rising sign. Group E, you have Scorpio, and Scorpios are definitely very, very sexy. <laughs> they are handsome, pretty, beautiful, and they have that something in their eye. And we also have a Libra, a new romantic cycle begins, so yeah, <laughs> this person is a heartbreaker. And I don't mean it in a way like, you know, they are a douchebag that break, that they want to break other people's hearts. It's just, you know, their natural magnetism um, that attracts a lot of people um, that, you know, they can't say yes to everyone. <laughs> so uh, they might be perceived this way. What else can I tell you? Well, Libras are team players. Uh, they are usually quite extroverted, extroverted, but then we have Scorpio, which might be more introverted. Okay, interesting. So these two would have to balance themselves, but I do think that your person would be more extra, extroverted. Might be a little bit indecisive with the Libra card. Mm -hmm. And Scorpio is just telling me that they are very, very, very emotional and they are not showing that at the beginning. Like they're going to act tough. They're going to try to seem tough, you know, but it's just the exterior and inside they, they're soft. <laughs> they are, you know, very lovely and um, sweet and gentle. That's how I see it. So thanks so much group E for watching. This was your last reading. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how all of this resonated with you. If you would like to see more, feel free to check out any of my previous readings. I have a bunch of love readings. If you would like to learn more maybe about this person, I have like uh, readings on your future or potential romantic partners, on crushes, etc. on specific on, on a specific person, if you would like to um, know something about a specific person, you can also book a personal reading with me so I can focus on your energy. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye. My last, last, last group, group F. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, the god, I, do, I hope I pronounce it okay, Nuada. So I did my research on all the gods and for Nuada. Oh my god, he's looking good. He's Irish. He was an Irish god. So that's what I remember. But what I wrote down is also um, that he was very generous, that he was very fair and very kind. He was strong. He was a giver. Uh, he made sure that he could lead his people um, the right way and give them better life. So he's definitely a giver. It gives me Virgo vibes. Uh, it gives me... Pisces vibes. So let's see what else we have with the tarot cards. Group F. Personality traits of group F. Any kind of messages about this person? For okay. Okay. Six of Wands. He is, you know, on the podium. He's the winner. He is... Um, he might be very popular, he or she. I'm saying he because I'm seeing a guy, but it could be he or she. This person with the six of wands. I feel like they're very like victorious. It gives me very victorious vibes. Interesting. Um, but yeah, they might be quite popular in your hometown, in your town, in the city, um, in that group where you maybe guys will meet. Um, or in general on social media, this person possibly also might be a celebrity, just saying. Because uh, this is the Six of Wands vibe. 
This also is a vibe of a, or a card of a leader. So this person is in some sort of leadership position. A lot of people look up to him. He's a great leader though. Great leader. He's very, as I was saying about Nuada, he's very kind. He's very generous. He's a giver. Um, and very fair. Okay. With the Three of Cups, that is a friendship card. That could say... Uh, that you guys might meet this person through your friends. This person might be in your friend circle. This is some. This might be someone that you are already friends with, or the fact that you guys will start off as friends. But yeah, I feel like you guys are going to go on a lot of parties together, or celebrate together, or just do things that friends do together. Mm hmm. Okay. So let's see the zodiac sign, zodiac or rising. For group F, for this person, we have a Taurus. So rising or zodiac Taurus. A card popped out. Let's see. A Virgo. So yeah, definitely. So earth sign for sure. We just don't have a Capricorn here, but Earth sign for sure, Rising or Zodiac. And Virgos like to be of service. They like to help others. They're very detailed. They are very focused on their diet, on their health, on fitness, on bettering their life. Um, I feel like also this person is going to dress really well, looking at Taurus and Virgo here and Six of Wands. Like their sense of style is just amazing um they really have an eye for details this person might be perfectionistic and someone that can cook that's for sure with the taurus because they like to eat too <laughs> but they like to cook so they will enjoy being in the kitchen and preparing meals for you with a virgo card what a catch what a catch Okay, so if you guys would like to learn more about this person, you can check out one of these readings here. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to leave in the comments your thoughts. You can also book a personal reading with me if you would like to do so. The link is in the description box. And other than that, thank you so much for watching this entire video. It's been a long one and I'll see you guys in my next one.